Now we're going to talk about asymmetrical meter. Asymmetrical is as it sounds. It is not symmetrical. It's not even. In an asymmetrical time signature or in an asymmetrical meter, the top number is always odd and it's a prime number. So let's think back about math. Remember, music is math. And what is a prime number? A prime number is a number that can only be divided by itself and one. So prime numbers might be 5, 7, 11, 43, 13. Those numbers are all prime numbers. Now, 3, we, we don't consider 3 as being an asymmetrical meter because we've already discussed that 3 can be on the top in a simple meter. So we're talking about prime odd numbers. So an asymmetrical meter, a typical one you might see, would be 5-4. And on my YouTube playlist, I did put some pieces of music that are in 5-4. Now, songs that are in 5-4 or pieces in 5-4 are going to feel kind of offbeat because it's not a regular meter. You're going to count a measure that's in 5-4, 1-2-3-4-5, 1-2-3-4-5. Five. Sometimes you might count 1-2-3-1-2, 1-2-3-1-2, two, or vice versa. It kind of depends on the way the music's written and how the notes are grouped, etc. It works the exact same way as we did before. If there's a 4 on the bottom, the quarter note gets the beat, like we learned in common time or simple time. The top number is how many beats are in the measure. So you would do this the exact same way. A measure in 5-4 could maybe have a dotted half followed by a half or any combination there of the notes that we've learned so far, just they need to add up to 5. Another one might be 7-8. Now remember, we did 8 on the bottom a lot when we talked about compound meter, but the difference is that there's that 7 on the top. So when the 7 is a prime number that's not 3, automatically you need to know that that's asymmetrical meter. So in asymmetrical meter, if this had an eight on the bottom, that means basically we would have seven eighth notes because the eighth note gets the beat now. So you can kind of just count to seven with eighth notes being the beat. So you might have three there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because remember my quarter note there would equal two beats now. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now often when you're counting in seven, eight or in another asymmetrical meter, you're gonna count it differently. I mean, sometimes you might count to seven the entire time, but a lot of times you might count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the stress would be on the one and the four. Or sometimes it might be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It just depends on the way that you're gonna count it. So again, all you need to know is remember that that bottom number of the time signature tells us the type of note that gets the beat. Top number, how many beats are in the measure. When it's prime, bloop, you know it is a symmetrical meter. Couple other terms I want to let you know about are polymetric. If something is considered to be polymetric, that might mean that there are two different time signatures or meters going on at the exact same time. So maybe a bass line might be written in 7-8. Whereas on top of that, there might be a melody line done by a singer or maybe a guitar solo or something else that would be in a different meter. So there's two different things going on at the same time, which can kind of give it a hard, it's hard to identify what the meter is. I have some cats, you might see them in here, you can say hi. And um, anyway, when there's two things going on at once, it's, it's hard to feel, so it feels sort of offbeat, it feels sort of, um, it gives maybe some anxiety in there. Another term is mixed meter. If a composer decides to change the meter midstream, you can have, you could change the meter a ton of different times. So you might start off in 3-4, go to 4-4, four, four, something else like that. I encourage you to listen to my examples. I have some examples that I've posted of some things that are polymetric. There are some examples of mixed meter that I've put on your YouTube, my YouTube channel.